Hello, my name is Bilal Sukkar, and this is another video covering the BIM framework. We're still focusing on the tie axle framework, and but this time I'm going to look at capability steps. Now, capability steps is a combination of the three axes of the, the fields, the stages, and the lenses. If you look at this diagram, it just explain, explains to us uh, how BIM capability uh, sets and steps. And I'm going to cover the difference between them and, uh, between the, these two in a second. So it is is derived. So let's just uh, zoom in a bit. So within BIM fields, if you remember from the BIM fields video, uh, each field will, will will have either components or types. Meaning we've got uh, technology process and policy uh, field types. Within each of these, we've got players, BIM deliverables, and BIM requirements. A BIM capability uh, set, uh, which includes lots of steps. Uh, is actually a requirement. If we look at uh, BIM stages, if you remember, we also have um, three stages, BIM stage one, which is uh, modeling, then stage two, collaboration, and three, integration. Uh, these three are represented within BIM capability step, sets and steps, meaning we've got capability sets covering each of these stages and uh, the transition between them. Now, if you look at lenses, also there's a separate video covering lenses. If you remember, we've got screen lenses, scoping, and conceptual lenses. Uh, a capability a set is actually a, an implementation of performance lens. So when we're discussing capability and capability steps and capability sets, we're really discussing a performance. All right, let me zoom out a bit and just explain this in a, in a different way. So this is uh, the stages. So this is from pre-BIM to post-BIM. We've got um, modeling, stage one, collaboration, stage two, and integration, uh, stage three. Now separating, if you want to go, if a company wants to go from uh, pre-BIM to post-BIM, they have to go, of course, through stages. But these stages are revolutionary. They're, uh, you know, moving from one to another is, is a major uh, effort. So it is separated into a smaller steps. These sets can't go from pre-BIM to, to stage one, from one to two, from two to three, and from three to post-BIM. So they are combined in something called sets. So meaning from pre-BIM to one, there's a, an A a type, uh, an A set. From one to two, there is a B set. From two to three, there is a C set. And from three to post-BIM, there is a D set. So now these are sets, like a combination of different types of, of steps. If we look at them a little bit more closely, we notice that uh, if we analyze them, um, that we, when we want to go from pre-BIM to one, from one to two, from two to three, that within these uh, A, B, and C, uh, and D sets, uh, there are three types. So within each set, there are three types. So for example, within uh, set A, we've got technology steps A, we've got process steps A, and policy steps a. If you go, for example, between two and three, which is set C, there are technology steps C, process steps C, and policy steps C. So what, what are these? Let's uh, look at, at these in a, uh, using a, uh, a mind map. So if you remember from the Venn diagram from a BIM fields, as we said, we've got a policy, process, and a technology. Uh, these are the types. And if you remember from a previous slide, uh, we said there are deliverables, requirements, and players. So we, here we're focusing on requirements. So BIM capability uh, is a requirement uh, for performance. It's not a deliverable. We're not really delivering uh, capability. It is a requirement in order to deliver uh, a model, to deliver a, you know, a document, a detail, a physical building, etc. So the, these are really the, the requirements. And these requirements are separated into technology process and policy. Let's zoom in a bit. So if we look at the technology, uh, technology is uh, also subdivided into smaller parts, so the software, hardware, and network, and these are uh, steps. If we look at uh, process, so there are resources, activities, and workflows, products and services, leadership, and management. These are also uh, step uh, types. If we look at the policy, there are contractual, regulatory, and proprietary uh, step type. So uh, let's just uh, look at a couple of examples. So if we look at step types, so these are three examples here. So if we want to implement a, a model checking software, for example, if we implement a Solubri, a Solubri model checker or Nervous Works Manage, this is actually a, a technology step within the software. So a software within te technology, uh, it's a step and is in set B, meaning it is from stage one to stage two. So if 
uh, uh, someone or you know are at Cavity Stage One, so they do modeling, and now they want to move into collaboration. One of the steps they need to implement is adopt additional software on, on top of, for example, the Revit and Archicads and Vectorworks. They need to implement a model checking software like so WO Navisworks. So this is a type of uh, a technology step. If you look also at uh, another example, if we want to move from stage two to stage three at the process side, so developing a workflow to integrate disciplinary models like uh, uh, architectural and structural models, if we want to integrate them or federate them together, that's actually uh, the workflow itself is a process. Uh, it, it falls under something called activities and workflows. So this type of step is in step C, meaning we are uh, at uh, the modeling stage and we want to move into the network-based integration stage. In order, to do, in order to do that, we need to develop certain uh, workflows in order to integrate these disciplinary models. So this falls under the process activities and workflow step. A third and final example, if we want to move um, from uh, uh, stage one to stage two, again, from modeling to collaboration, for example, we need to update the contract to account for model interchanges. So, uh, for example, uh, if we are only doing modeling without exchanging models with other dis uh, disciplines, we don't really uh, need to change anything in the traditional uh, contract because we are exchanging typical visuals like uh, documents, um, etc., like drawings. But if we want to interchange um, but models, uh, we need to update our contracts either by adopting a new types of contracts or changing some uh, contractual clauses. So this type of change or this type of implementation of a new contractual language is actually considered a step uh, under policy contractual. Uh, and it falls on in set B because set B, if you remember from previous slides, is the, the set that separates one from two. Finally, um, if we just uh, give you a visual of all these uh, uh, steps, so if we have uh, BIM fields here, we've got the BIM stages there. If we subdivide these fields into technology process and policy, and we subdivide the stages into one, two, and three, you can imagine these steps as you know small blocks uh, populating the, 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 the distance between zero and one, and we've got also other types of steps populating between one and two, etc., between two and three. Now, it's very important to remember that although these are different steps, they are from the same type, meaning if you're going from zero to one or one to two or two to three, although they're different steps, like a different implementation of you know, different software or different processes or different workflows, but they are of the same type, meaning here we've got software up to the end, here we've got hardware up to the end, network up to the end. Now, we, what's the benefit of this? We can use this uh, type of diagram uh, as we will be shown in future uh, videos in order to first establish what are the steps that have been implemented in, a, in, a, in an organization and in the future we'll, how we look at the quality of these, these uh, steps. So really, if we look at uh, like the total steps available for an architectural company to move uh, you know, from pre-BIM into BIM stage three, um, let's say we have all these listed, and then we measure uh, the capability of the company uh, currently, and we see, oh, okay, these are the steps that have been implemented. Thank you for attending this video. Please remember to watch previous videos covering the BIM stages, uh, BIM fields, and also BIM uh, uh, lenses, and also remember to subscribe. Thank you.